If you're listening to this, then you, like many other people around the world, want to know the potential of the Large Hadron Collider possibly creating a black hole. First, then you need to understand what we know about black holes and what questions we need to address. How are black holes formed? Black holes are formed from the death of a star, where it collapses into a small size and almost infinitely large in density, which becomes what is called a singularity. This creates massive gravity that pulls everything in and up to the point that you see or actually you don't see is called the event horizon where not even radiation and light can escape. So the first question we must ask now is does the Large Hadron Collider have enough power to replicate the forces from what we understand is needed to create a black hole? Now if it does create a black hole, many scientists believe it will disappear as fast as it came. What is the theory behind that? Physicist Stephen Hawking theorized thermal radiation is emitted by black holes due to quantum physics, which caused black holes to lose matter faster than it is able to gain, causing them to vanish. But more importantly, the existence of Hawking's radiation has never been observed. There are also no tests or way to observe this theory with any technology possessed today. So if the LHC does in fact create a black hole and Hawking's radiation does not exist, what will be the consequences? Let's take a look at black holes and compare it to something similar in some ways. For example, fire. One thing fire needed to burn is fuel. The chemical reaction of fire will take anything with the properties needed to fuel it and continue burning, leaving any waste in its wake. Now let's look at black holes. What if the circumstances for a black hole is hidden inside the mysterious particle we are looking for? The tremendous forces of a star dying is needed to create a black hole. What if the key to unlocking a black hole is a force needed in destroying atoms to the extent which unlocks this powerful phenomenon? The further we dissect an atom, the stronger the forces we encounter binding them. Why is that? Once released, its power destroys more atoms, unlock even more of the singularity which enables the black hole to grow. What if the theorized discharge from black holes is a waste of atoms, which the black hole can no longer use? Would that explain why we cannot measure or observe Hawking's radiation because its emission is nuclear in size? Could the key to Higgs particle be, and why particles are massless but still create mass, be because of this locked element?